Hello guys, Tav HD here and welcome back to another video and today we'll be doing an unboxing and setup of this. This is the Kit Sound My FM2 Wireless to FM Audio Converter. So basically what this does is let you use Bluetooth connectivity from your phone in a car which does not support Bluetooth. So it does that by plugging this into your cigarette lighter this creates its own radio station, you tune into that on your car and you connect over Bluetooth to this and anything you play over Bluetooth from your phone will come out of your car speakers because of this. Now this particular one is about 15 to 20 pounds depending on where you get it and I think that is a pretty good deal considering it can add Bluetooth to an older car. So today we will just be doing an unboxing and setup of this. Taking a look at the box, there is a picture of the product. It's got a little screen on the front. It also has the ability to charge your phone because there is a USB port on the top of it. Of course, Bluetooth and everything you need to know is just on the front. There's some more information on the back as well, but we will get to all that a little bit later. Now I will say I have already had this out of the box to make sure it would fit in my car. When I get in the car I will show you what I mean by that but I have already had this out but that shouldn't really matter. So there is the device in that plastic and here are the instructions. We get nothing else in the box so we can just move that off to the side. We won't be looking at the instructions today because this is a pretty straightforward setup. Okay so taking the device out of the plastic here it's actually quite a lot smaller than I thought. I will just put that there and that is an iPhone 8 Plus for scale. I thought it would be a bit bigger than it is. Not as big as the iPhone of course but I didn't think it would be this small. Now it is made out of a sort of soft satiny plastic and that is kind of a problem because if you can see just from my one go testing this in my car there are some scratches appearing on the device. I simply put this into the 12 volt socket once and took it out once and it has scratched some of the coating off. Of course it doesn't really matter but it just shows that this Probably isn't the highest quality product, but as long as it works, I'm not too concerned about that. So here is the front of the product. We've got the Kit Sound logo. We've got the little screen there. And here we can change the channel up and down. That is to change the radio frequency which this transmits at. So let's say if in your area there is a radio station on 87.5, then you can change this to not be on 87.5. You can tune it in to be on a dead station which you can then connect to. Then in the middle we've got a play pause button that can be used to play and pause your music off your phone so you don't have to touch your phone while you're driving. So that is pretty cool. On the top of the device we have a USB port that is just a standard type A. This is a five volt output. And on the side we have a three and a half millimeter audio in jack. So this is auxiliary in so you can connect a device over a standard auxiliary cable into this and then it will play the sound out of the car speakers as well. So that is pretty cool. If you have a car which doesn't have an aux input you can use this as well to do that. So that is pretty cool. And that is pretty much it for the design. This of course is the bit which goes into your 12 volt socket. So that's pretty much all I can show you for right now but I will continue once I get in my car. Okay so here we are in the car. I've started the engine. I've got the little transmitter. I'm just going to put it into the cigarette lighter and you can see it is coming on and you can also see what I meant by I wasn't sure if it would fit or not. This cigarette lighter is kind of at an angle so I didn't know if it would fit under this overhang but thankfully it does and straight away it is showing that it is creating the frequency 108.0 you can change that by using the channel buttons there if you want and of course there is play pause on there as well so if I go back to the stereo I can go to 108 or whatever you choose it to be I've already set it to preset number six there we go 108 and that will now be picking up whatever signal 
this thing's giving out so I'll just get my phone out and then we can test it. So Bluetooth is now connected on my phone, it won't really focus but it is connected. I should also say I am on private land here so it is perfectly safe for me to do this. Of course don't mess with your phone when driving, that's just silly. So I'll get up some copyright free music and then we can test this out. Okay, so I've got up some copyright free music, the stereo is ready, so when I press play, it is starting to play. So you should be able to hear that, and that quality is actually quite good. Now I can control the volume here as I normally would, or you can also change it on the phone as well. So that is pretty much that, it plays music through the stereo just fine. I can also change the presets here so I can add more bass, treble and all sorts of things. But yeah, it seems to work and the quality is definitely better than I would expect for about £15. So this does seem to work and of course you can receive phone calls through it too. You can answer it just by pressing the play pause button which is very nice. It stops you using your phone while driving so that is very very good so this thing seems to work just fine so i think that will now be the end of the video it all seems to be working so thank you for watching this video i will see you in the next one goodbye